Our universe may not have a beginning. For years, we believed in the theory of the Big Bang, but now real observations of the early universe show us something completely different. Behind the Pandora galaxy cluster, the James Webb Telescope has discovered a mysterious structure so old and so large that it could never have existed in a young universe. This gives us further evidence that our theories about the Big Bang and the age of the universe are wrong. There may never have been a beginning. The idea that something could have no beginning and no end causes problems for many of us. We are used to thinking in spatial dimensions, where things and processes have a beginning and an end or boundaries. Scientists also struggle with infinity because it poses unsolvable mathematical problems. Scientists can only calculate with quantities of length, height, and width within a fictitious space. If our universe is truly boundless, then it has no height, no width, and no length. In fact, however, most of our current theories about the origin and development of the cosmos are based on calculations that assume a space that is closed in some way. Since the James Webb Space Telescope has provided us with more and more evidence that the previous explanation of the development of the universe is not correct, other theories are becoming more likely. At the beginning of time, galaxies appeared that look as if they are already billions of years old. These early galaxies should have shown signs of an early stage of development. Researchers also expected to finally see the extremely bright stars of the first generation through James Webb. But here too, there has been no sign so far. All we see are structures that look so old that the Big Bang could not possibly have taken place 13.8 billion years ago. What is behind the Pandora Cluster? In February 2023, NASA published another deep image by James Webb. Here we see the Pandora Cluster, also known as Abel 2744, with the incipient merger of three massive galaxy clusters visible in the foreground. This fantastic discovery was made possible by Webb's NIRCAM. Webb exposed the individual sections of the cluster for up to six hours and then perfectly assembled the new depth image from five individual images. The image shows around 50,000 light sources, the oldest of which are expected to reveal further secrets of the early universe. There is much more to this image than just another stroke of genius of our telescope technology. The enormous cluster acts as a unique gravitational lens and magnifies all objects behind it due to the curvature of space-time. The ultra-deep near-spec and near-cam observations before the APOC of reionization program, or UNCOVER for short, is responsible for this image, and researchers took a close look at every trace of light on the image. They noticed something that once again calls our standard models of cosmology into question. Behind the cluster, a structure became visible that is so large and massive that it's incompatible with our previous explanatory models of the early universe. UNCOVER has actually set itself the goal of capturing the first light signals from the APOC of reionization. At that time, the universe is said to have been largely dark. However, the image again shows that some of the points of light are very probably galaxies that are well over 13 billion years old, which again means that they are actually too old for our explanations. This image adds to the debacle of astrophysics with the mysterious structure. Initial measurements showed a redshift value of Z equals 7.9 meaning the object was already present around 650 million years after the Big Bang. The structure could be a proto-galaxy cluster, but how can huge galaxy clusters have already formed 650 million years after the Big Bang if at that time there were supposedly, at most, isolated first stars or proto-galaxies? So, the old theories are once again being challenged, and this discovery increases the probability of a much older or infinite universe. The photometric near-cam data from the image has now been made available to many international research teams and astronomers around the world are now working together to find out the truth. What if the Big Bang never happened? It's exciting. We are currently facing more new possibilities in astronomy than we have for a long time. Before the telescope was launched, researchers were actually expecting the long-awaited confirmation of their theories. But now, Completely new scientific dimensions are opening up and we are going to experience changes. What could all this mean now? 
we may soon be able to look even further back in time. And if we still can't find any signs of an early universe 14 billion light years away, we will at least know for sure that our universe must be much older than previously assumed. This would not yet be proof of infinity, but this possibility would become more likely again. Let's take a look at what supports this. The uniform distribution of the cosmic microwave background radiation across the entire sky indicates that the universe is homogeneous and isotropic on a large scale. Both can be interpreted as an indication of an infinitely extended universe. The Planck Space Telescope also showed us that the universe has a flat geometry. Some scientists also interpreted this as a possible indication that our cosmos is infinitely extended in all directions. There is another fact that we must not overlook when considering the question of the infinity of our universe. No one has yet found an end to the previously known universe. We survey more than 90 billion light years, but there is no evidence of an end. Ideas about the edges of the universe have so far been pure scientific mind games, but not proven facts. James Webb's discoveries now indicate that there is no beginning on the timeline either. Proving an infinite universe will be difficult because even the best telescopes can never show infinity. Even if we one day travel through space in spaceships, we could never know for sure that it has an end until we find it. What would an infinite universe mean? It sounds fascinating to live in a universe that goes on and on, has no beginning and no end, and has always been there. Only our science has difficulty with this idea. There are the aforementioned problems of describing such a universe scientifically and accurately. Infinity would mean that we are very unlikely to succeed in doing just that. We can explore partial areas and make approximate predictions as to which forces are at work there and where they come from. But the entirety of the infinite universe would probably elude mathematical and scientific observation. Who says that we have to measure and scientifically explain every corner of the magnificent universe? We have to ask ourselves why we are so meticulously searching for this information and understanding of the universe. It's because we are looking for answers about our own origins. Where did it all come from? Who made it? And why is it here? Natural science tries to explain these questions with formulas and calculations and is now reaching its limits. However, open-minded scientists also see the new discoveries as an opportunity to learn more about the cosmos in a completely new way. The findings may enable us to reach new levels with our research. So far, we have to admit that despite many theories and telescopes like James Webb, we still know very little about the universe. The infinity of the universe could also mean that we are in a kind of time-space loop or in a very well-made holographic projection. This would mean that we need to evolve our consciousness and brains to understand the true nature of the universe. Can we get to the truth with a quantum computer? Now we come to an exciting chapter in the exploration of the universe that could truly be a revolution. Quantum computers may soon be so powerful and intelligent that they will provide us with answers to all the questions without us having to search for long. These fascinating machines use the principles of quantum mechanics to process huge amounts of information or perform complex calculations. Quantum computers use qubits which, unlike the bits of classical computers, can not only assume the states 0 or 1, but also superpositions of these states. As you may know, quanta combine all possibilities and only take on a certain form when they are measured. This behavior shows that quanta theoretically contain all the possibilities and all the knowledge of this universe. We just have to learn to crack the code of quantum language and program the technology in such a way that it provides us with answers that go far beyond observational possibilities and classical mathematical calculations. Let's take the problem of the incompatibility of Einsteinian physics with quantum mechanics. So far, only string theory exists that can close the gap between the two. But we cannot prove string theory because it includes invisible dimensions. There are now countless variants of string theory and none of them quite fit. A quantum computer can reconcile all this information and show us our mistakes in an unprecedented way. And the computer could replace existing gaps and misconceptions with coherent calculations. We might even be able to combine quantum computers with artificial intelligence. 
and then we would probably have access to almost endless knowledge. Telescopes would then be another fun way for us to observe the beauty of the universe. But we would no longer have to painstakingly piece together what we see into a cosmic puzzle. Scientists predict that even the simplest variants of quantum computers will be able to plausibly show us whether dark matter really exists. So far, we have used the assumption of dark matter to explain anomalies in the movement of galaxies, but its existence has never been proven. A quantum computer could provide us with all kinds of explanations for the phenomena that we have so far explained with dark matter and also show us whether the concept of dark matter is real or a mistake. The first prototypes of these computers are already in use. At the moment, the developers are still having problems with the sensitivity of these futuristic machines. Quantum computers are extremely sensitive to vibrations and are only operated in specially sealed and insulated rooms. Cooling poses a further challenge. Basically, however, these processes are nothing more than a further development of the gigantic computers that existed in the 1960s and 70s. Today, we have small laptops and smartphones. The people who operated the first monster computers could never have dreamed of that back then. Nevertheless, it only took a few decades for computer technology to advance to the point where it can be found in almost every household today. What would you say if we showed you a galaxy that looks like a penguin or one that spits at its neighbors? The most unusual galaxies in the universe are incredible, mysterious, beautiful, or just plain weird. It's fascinating what shapes and colors the universe forms and what bizarre behaviors galaxies can exhibit in cosmic interactions. We go now on a ramble through the universe and illuminate the 10 strangest and most unusual galaxies of all time. Penguin or Dolphin Galaxies look like spirals or disks, right? Wrong. The interacting spiral galaxy NGC 2936 looks like a penguin or a dolphin. At least 326 million light years from us, this galaxy is absolutely fascinating and beautiful. Some argue that it looks like a dolphin, while others say it looks more like a penguin holding an egg. The shape varies slightly depending on the angle of view and is definitely unique. The core of the spiral galaxy can be seen as the eye of the dolphin. What you see on the left, and what looks like the nose of a dolphin, is actually a huge star-forming region. All the new stars and the surrounding gas and dust nebulae are shining brightly, making this galaxy really impressive. The shape comes about because the spiral galaxy NGC 2936 interacts with the more elliptical-shaped galaxy NGC 2937, and together they form this galactic beauty. The pair of galaxies is together with ARP-142, and a mystery to science. The two galaxies do not unite, but constantly pull on each other. As a result of these interactions, disruptions occur in the gas, dust, and stellar structures that result in the shape of a dolphin or a penguin. In a billion years, the two cosmic squabblers will have finished their galactic discussion, then they will transform into another galaxy, and the dolphin shape will disappear. Rubin's Galaxy Astronomer Vera Rubin discovered a galaxy that raises many questions. An unusually large spiral galaxy, this formation shows other features such as dusty arms, gorgeous pink signatures of ionized hydrogen, bright blue stars, and a very flat shape. Ruby's Galaxy, or UGC 2885, was formed either by gas accretion, minor galaxy mergers, or both. Observations with the Hubble Space Telescope found evidence of gradual accretion of gas, which would be unusual for this size. The galaxy's immediate surroundings lack larger structures, and already Vera Rubin suspected that her galaxy was able to form such sprawling spiral arms because there is simply nothing around it to prevent it from doing so. Rubin's galaxy is truly enormous and unique. The Hidden Galaxy the most mysterious galaxy in our near vicinity is IC 342, also known as the Hidden Galaxy. Probably there is not so much unusual about this galaxy in detail, we just can't see it. IC 342 is considered the most difficult galaxy to observe in the universe. It lies directly near the equator of the Milky Way disk. Here, 
The sky is very dense with cosmic gas, bright stars, and lots of dust, making it difficult to see this spiral galaxy hidden behind it. The galaxy is said to be only 10.7 million light years from Earth, which is very close by cosmic standards. Along with Andromeda and the Triangulum Galaxy, IC342 is one of our closest and probably most beautiful neighbors. Hubble was able to take a few colorful images of the galaxy, and they show that it's actively producing stars and would possibly be one of the brightest galaxies in the sky if it were visible from our vantage point. The Space Candy Galaxy What does a galaxy have to look like to get the name Space Candy from scientists? Beautiful. As in, the most beautiful, and that's exactly what applies to a galaxy about 100 million light years away from us. NGC 2336 is big, beautiful, and blue. Images from the Hubble telescope clearly show the beauty and sheer magnificence of this barred spiral galaxy, which spans about 200,000 light years. Astronomers were sure that if there were a beauty contest of galaxies, it would have won. Space Candy is not the largest galaxy ever discovered, but it has lovely spiral arms that are rich in young and bright stars. The bright blue light comes from a large amount of very young and large stars. In the center, however, the Space Candy glows reddish, a color given off by older stars. The galactic beauty was discovered already in 1876 by the German astronomer Wilhelm Tempel. Galaxy Within a Galaxy in 1950, astronomer Arthur Hogue stumbled upon a strange-looking galaxy. He studied it and concluded that it was either a unique galaxy or a planetary nebula. About 8 billion stars cavorted in the formation, which would correspond to a tiny galaxy. For example, there are several hundred billion stars in our Milky Way. This cosmic wonder has puzzled astronomers and scientists for decades. The center of this galaxy appears as a sphere or cluster of red-colored older stars, while the surrounding ring is dominated mainly by bright blue young stars. Named after its discoverer, the Hogue object is an odd sight. It's likely that the ring galaxy is a result of a previously unknown interaction structure between two galaxies or a galactic merger. It's possible that a violent collision with a neighboring galaxy caused this type of hole in the disk. Hogue himself suggested that the ring-shaped appearance might be an optical illusion, but images from the Hubble Space Telescope have refuted this. The Strange Neighbor It's no longer a secret. Galaxies form groups, nurseries, communities of two. They feed off each other, they unite, and they can form neighborhoods, much like we do for the most part. There are neighbors next to whom you prefer to live, and others can give you a reason to move. If you happen to run into Centaurus A in the galactic community, you're probably better off looking the other way. This galaxy has a supermassive active black hole right at its center that is about 55 million times more massive than our Sun. Not only does this black hole have tremendous gravitational pull and gobble up enormous amounts of matter, the cosmic giant also forms toxic jets in the process that extend thousands of light years into space. These plasma jets are extremely bright, making the galaxy visible as early as 1826 with what was then a comparatively poor telescope. Until today, this rowdy neighbor is the center of intensive research, and it's astonishing that the giant has gathered some small dwarf galaxies around him, which follow him like little servants. If you want to catch a glimpse of Centaurus A, you have to look south in the constellation of Centaurus. This constellation is especially visible in the southern hemisphere of the Earth and is located near the Southern Cross, one of the most famous constellations of the southern sky. On clear nights and away from heavy light pollution, you can try to observe the galaxy with a good telescope. Space Vermin There's nothing that doesn't exist in space, and so here we have a candidate that is called a Vermin Galaxy. At first, there is not so much strange or remarkable about the galaxy HD 107146, and actually it's quite a normal galaxy, and at a distance of only 89 light years, it's quite close to our Milky Way system. The galaxy is known for its unusual pairing with a star very similar to our Sun, and researchers would like to study this star more closely. But they can't because the light information from the galaxy and the star merge. 
so researchers cannot separate the two, and one of the most interesting stars that would exist in our environment must remain unexplored. This annoyance brought the actually harmless galaxy the epithet Space Vermin. I, however, think that this galaxy looks much rather like a gigantic dandelion. But what do you think? The Galactic Tadpole In this galaxy, researchers see the form of a tadpole. The original shape of the strange galaxy was a bar stretching out from the center and surrounded by a spiral. The giant tadpole was formed by a hit-and-run collision with another galaxy. The two just touched, and then each went its way, the passing galaxy pulling out a kind of tail from the other that stretches over 500,000 light-years. Thus, the tail of the tadpole alone is ten times longer than the Milky Way. The rest of its shape may have been created by the collision of two disk galaxies pulled onto a much smaller galaxy. What we recognize as the head of the tadpole is an extremely clumped together cluster of stars that resulted from the mass collision event. It's not uncommon in space for multiple galaxies to meet in close quarters at certain spots, to ram past each other, to overlap, or to merge. Through such processes, the strangest shapes are formed, and we enjoy these bizarrely beautiful galactic formations. Images we see now show what it may have looked like 420 million years ago. This is truly mind-blowing. Little Bear The Little Bear Galaxy gets its name from its location in the constellation Ursa Major, also known as the Great Bear. About 50 to 60 million light-years away, this structure is said to be the prototype of a galaxy. In fact, the Little Bear is one of the few star-forming galaxies in the universe and it's very metal-poor. Low metallicity means it's not very bright and therefore harder to study. Researchers previously assumed that all early galaxies that appeared shortly after the Big Bang were such low-luminosity, low-metallicity entities as Little Bear. The fact that the Little Bear comes along somewhat weakly could have, however, still another reason. Because the neighbor steals this galaxy's gas. This shows that there is audacity also on galactic levels and maybe we have to adjust our picture about cosmic interactions a little bit. NGC 3359 is a giant galaxy and seems to suck all the gas from its neighbor to form even more stars. This galactic cannibalism is unique so far and is being watched with excitement by researchers. Cosmic Yeti What can a galaxy and the snowman Yeti have in common? Well, they are both legends, hard to spot, and most of the time, humans only catch a glimpse of them. Another thing they have in common is the uncertainty of whether they exist at all. The cosmic Yeti galaxy was discovered by a team of astronomers who directed the Atacama Large Millimeter Telescope into a distant region of the universe. This revealed that this galaxy existed only one billion years after the Big Bang and was really amazing because it's very large with a mass of about 300 billion solar masses. It's really amazing that this galaxy existed at a time when the universe was still very young. Nevertheless, so far there is no clear evidence that the object SPT 0418-47 is really a galaxy. Sometimes it appears like this, then there are hints that it is something else, or that it does not exist at all, just like the Snowman Yeti. If you love impressive videos about space and science, then subscribe to our channel.